Thank you, Lord. Yes, thank you. I woke up this morning. I've been going through some. allows us to recognize our Creator, our Redeemer. 
redeemer and our sustainer. That God allowed the prophet Isaiah to give us a brief synopsis of the life of Jesus the Christ. The first one say that we have the Old Testament of the Bible that a lot of us don't like to deal with. Too many words we have to learn to pronounce. Too many things we have to learn that we might say, well, how did that affect us? But I believe that the Old Testament was given to us not to talk about just what other people were doing, or could not do, or did not do, when God gave the word and gave them directions. But it is the book that tells us of our weaknesses, the things that we do not do, cannot do, and will not do, when God gives us the command to do them. The Jewish people were picked by God to show the world that no matter how good he is to us, by ourselves we are nothing. Without his help, without his inference in our lives, we are nothing. And he allowed Isaiah to point out the fact that Jesus the Christ was going to come to be our redeemer so that we could be the children of God as God meant for us to be. From chapter 52, verse 13, is the prophecy of Christ's glory. Behold, my servant shall deal prudently. He shall be exalted and exalted and be very high. And many were astonished at this. His visage was so hard more than any man and his form more than the Son of Man. So shall he sprinkle many nations. The king shall shut their mouths at him. For that which had not been told them shall they see. And that which they had not heard shall they consider. So Isaiah is telling us that for, for warning us and telling us that Christ will come to be able to help us to understand what we do not understand just reading the Bible on our own. He will help us to get to the point that we can take the knowledge that he gives us through the scripture to others so that the seed that are planted shall grow into the harvest that he wanted to be. We have the complaint of incredulity that is pointed out from verse 53 1 53, 3. It says, Who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground. He hath no form nor comeliness. 
And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire. He is despised and rejected of man. A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Christ came. Christ gathered his disciples. Christ taught and showed us in his way and in his word how we should be, what we should do, how we should act, how we should treat one another. He planted seeds, the seeds grew. But then the, 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 the very, very people that God had appointed or anointed to be the initial people to spread the word. They took gladly, as long as he was providing them.
sow his seed, he shall prolong the day and the pleasure of his
says, all men that are of God must come to me. Amen. Jesus let us know that it's only through him that we will be part of the family of God. Are you in? Do you read and study your Bible on a regular basis? The apostle gave Jesus half brother that we said that we must be doers as well as hearers of the word. We should follow God Jesus' word with all diligence because the fact that we are here to hear the message lets us know that Jesus Right. And by the keeping of faith, we know that he can and will always do it right. Because he's promised you. He has not failed me yet. May the Lord add a blessing.